though this isn't necessarily an ideal situation or a, a good situation in a lot of ways, um, I'm going to look at the positive side of it and think this is an excellent learning experience. So either way, no matter what happens, I walk out of here with more education than I started with. So, and this is going to help me for future situations. Um, and you just can't, you can't buy that. And um, there's something to be said about, about experience and what you learn from it and what you can take away from that. All right, so here we are. It's now Monday um, and we've got, we got Rosie here. And uh, we are giving another, another uh, dose of urbanamine. Seems to have gotten her through the night and she's, she's, uh, she's eating, she's doing all the things again. We're still trying to figure it all out. Um, but for right now, it's, uh, it's, it's keeping her, it's keeping her comfortable and uh, it's allowing her to eat and not, uh, not roll, thrash around and do all those things. So we're gonna keep down this path until we figure out what's, uh, what the next step is or what's going on. So, yeah, Rosie Rue. All right, so we'll see how that carries her through the day. We're gonna let her out with the herd again today. Let's see, and uh, I guess we'll see what the day brings. Are you being funny? We are on Monday afternoon, it's about four o'clock and I finally just emerged from the house. I've been so sick the last 24 hours, um, or almost 24 hours. And so I've got Rosie and Daisy here. But the only, the only way I can get little minis in view. But I'm going to, um, Daisy is going back outside. I'm gonna offer Rosie a drink and then bring her in to get her sand clear. I wanted to put Rosie in the pasture real quick so she could run over and get a drink. Both these minis were in the stall last night and they did not drink at all. Easy rolling. Now that Rosie's getting a good drink, I am going to bring her back in the barn and give her um, the vet suggested that maybe some sand clear in case she has sand in her gut. So I'm going to give her, I have some of that, I'm going to give it to her and along with her electrolytes and there's some other things that she said could potentially be an issue. took a nice drink. She's definitely interested in food, so we'll see how she does with her little bit of grain and sand clear. Hey, Rosie. Monday night, and um, tonight, I don't know if I'm going to give Rosie her banamine because, well, for one, this would be the last dose that I can give her safely um, without worrying about it causing um, 
causing further issues like ulcers and such because banamine is only supposed to be given for five days. So, um, but after talking with the vet and um, trying to think of what is going on with this pony, she's thinking that this potentially could be stones. Um, I can't remember the actual name of them right now, of course, off the top of my head, even though I've been researching them for hours. Um, but anyway, around our area, we don't have a facility that can handle such a procedure. Um, so basically, I'm going to be contacting um, the Wisconsin Equine Clinic tomorrow and then a couple other clinics in, in Wisconsin to see about to see about what they have to say and where I need to go from there. So getting quotes because unfortunately, um, you know, we have to be realistic with how much we're able to spend to save a horse. Um, and as much as I hate to put a price on this pony's life, um, it's reality. And um, so it kills me to, um, to even think about it but so I guess um, you know what we may end up be doing is hauling her having her x-rayed to see if it's something that um, needs to be surgically taken care of or who knows maybe she's just got a tummy ache that won't go away who knows but right now it's nice to see her eating her her stuff she's got um, this is sand clear that she's eating. I got a tiny bit of grain mixed in with it for flavor and um, some electrolytes. So I'm glad to see her eating it because earlier she just turned her nose up at it. So it's good. Keep Rosie in your, in your thoughts, guys. I'm really praying for her. Rosie did just poop and they are solid. Where earlier today it was kind of right there. It was um, kind of squishy. So I'm happy to see that she does have normal solid poops right now. And she's slowly munching on her grain in here. So she keeps getting bored and leaving because it's really not what she wants. She's not a big fan of how it tastes, but. She's working at it at least. Update on Rosie, um, today is Tuesday. I was out here and checked on her this morning and she was, um, she did lay down and roll while I was out here. And now she's standing and eating. She is covered, um, she's clearly been down quite a bit because she is pretty wet looking. Um, I'm going to, when I get back, um, my daughter's sick now, so I'm going to pick her up. Um, when I get back, I'm going to bring her in and get her, um, just brush her and get her cleaned up a little bit. But she's eating, so that's good. I had a lengthy discussion today with the good folks at Wisconsin Equine Clinic, and we have an appointment for tomorrow. So I will be hauling her to Wisconsin to get this checked out. There's a few different options that it could be, but um, I feel like it's necessary at this point to, to get her there. All right, it is Tuesday. We are at um, about 5 p.m. And I've been watching Rosie throughout the day. And she's been just kind of hanging around. The other horses were running and playing and having a good time. And she was just kind of standing off to the side. I talked at length with the Wisconsin Equine Clinic. And I have an appointment for her for noon tomorrow. So one of the things that they wanted me to do was to take her temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and see what that is. And... Um, go from there and I have a problem already so I don't know if my thermometer is frozen or what but no it's not working okay we're good That's good. That's normal. If it was above 101.5, that would be considered um, a 
fever for a horse. So um, that's when I would need to be concerned. Here's the deal. I'm hauling Rosie to Wisconsin tomorrow. It's gonna be about a five hour drive. And I'm taking her in my truck. So I gotta load her up in the back of my truck. I gotta top her on it. And, ouch, Rosie. She just pawed at my butt. Um, so we're gonna practice with our ramp. My dad made me a ramp today. And we're gonna see how this goes. She's doing fine with it going into the stall, but now I gotta make sure I can get her in my truck. So that's the next step. Okay, here's our trial run. Let's see, Rosie. We have a pony in the truck. Yes! Good girl, Rosie. And it only took me three minutes and 50 seconds to get her loaded in the truck. Okay, just put the pony in the truck, turned her out, and she immediately went to the hay box. And now, um, there she goes stretching out. It's hard to see. It's hard to see, but she's all stretched out. And then hopefully she gets some water. Oh, there she goes. Another pony over here wanting my attention. This pony, Mr. Bear. He's always got to be by my side. I did give Rosie a couple treats with uh, the truck loading situation. Um, I'm not huge on treats, but I feel like there are situations where they're a good idea. So that was, was one situation. If I can get the pony to get in the truck, dang it, she's getting a treat. I'm glad she's drinking. <laughs>